<laughs> oh man. Hi YouTube, what's going on? Uh, I'm Grand Pooper. I have a brand new level that I'm uploading. Uh, the cool part about this level is it's using the low gravity mechanics in Mario Maker. So it's all the kind of like, it makes all the Kaizo tricks kind of really, really easy to do because everything's moving really slow. But at the same time, it does it does add its own little unique challenge. Yeah, its own little unique challenge. Sorry, I had the eraser sound going on right there. Uh, so I'm going to kind of run you through this level and everything that you're going to be expecting. Hopefully we one shot it, but if not, you know, we'll just we'll just go through it and I'll show you each part. This first section right here is going to kind of be like teach you some of the basics. And one of the big basics is that you can do regrab in zero G. Uh, one of the big basics. Yeah, the whole the whole level's broken. Uh, one of the big bases you can do regrabs in zero G. So you have to be really careful about when you're holding jump and when you're not holding jump in this level. And for those who don't know what regrabs are, it's an SMW mechanic that actually makes you fall slower. And I, I I think the indication that it's here in zero G means there's a slight version of it in every kind of form of it, but it's very pronounced here in zero G. And there's actually a, a few sections that you won't be able to do, uh, such as this start if you hold jump. Yes. So right there, you have to kind of press jump on that guy. You need momentum right here, and then you throw that guy out. You're going to grab this Yoshi. This bomb is just really easy. Grab the spring, and then you're going to throw the spring in there right where the indicator is. Hop off. Easy peasy section. Easy peasy section right there. Uh, after this, you're going to do a spring jump, which uh, in theory should be really easy right here. But since I just missed it, you guys can all mock me. On the YouTube video, uh, we'll just put a spring right here. But we're gonna do a spring jump. Oh, easy! Right there. Um, it's really, really easy. It's, it's. I know I just missed it twice. I promise you, it's a lot easier to do in zero gravity than in the real game. Uh, you just gotta l let go of the spring a little bit early. I know. I know. Super embarrassing. Super embarrassing. Uh, after this right here, uh, you're going to want to do kind of like a full Z jump with momentum, but kind of like stall a little bit because at the peak of your jump, you see uh, Toadette has this, or Mario or Luigi or Toad, whoever you're using, uh, has this kind of like floatiness to her. So you're going to kind of just like work around there. You're going to do the same thing, a Z move over here. Right here, you need to release B. If you release B, you're going to have a much better time. Uh, the key to this section right here, don't run. Don't hold run at all, because if you hold run, you're going to grab on to the blocks. In fact, you don't want to hold run until you get right underneath here. And then you want to do big re-grab jumps. So you're going to have no B, and then you're going to re-grab. We'll avoid that little troll right there. And then we come up to the last section. And this section is definitely the, uh, the hardest section of the game, of the level. Uh, but also, in my opinion, the swaggiest. Of course, we have our Yoshi killing machine going on over there on the right. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to stand right here. You're going to jump a full jump. And then you're going to do a s shell jump into there. Grab the pal. Throw it in. And you're done. And that's it. And that's really all you want to do. Okay, here we go. This is the... This coming up right now. This... This is going to be the full clear. Full... The full clear of the level and how swag it looks when it's all together. This is going to be the full clear so you guys can see how dope it looks when it's all put together. There we go. There we go. All right, again, you don't want to hold run. You don't want to hold run in there. That's going to be the biggest mistake a lot of players make is holding run in that section. Um, honestly, one thing that's kind of weird about low gravity is holding run doesn't really do much most of the time oh. all right one more jump and we got it
Got a nice little indicator. And there it is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a nice, relatively short, low gravity Kaizo level. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And try it. And if you have Amazon Prime, why don't you head over onto Twitch and give your favorite streamer your Twitch Prime subscription? It's free and it steals money from Jeff Bezos. That guy doesn't fucking need it. So go do it. Everyone's playing this level right now. Yeah, Pooh's Pooh's Pooh contacted literally his every single one of his like hundred and twenty thousand followers and was like, "Go forth, my minions on Twitch. Make sure everybody plays this level." <laughs> what the hell? Well, I guess we saved it. The spring. No! What? Dude, I was so close, man. What the fuck? <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay, I think I jumped too high here. Yes! Uh-oh, that is way too slow. Fuck. What a waste. I can't believe I made that. No way! <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. Oh my god. Why? I get it now. Like, I understand. But why? Please be the end. Please be the end. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> Who would troll in a video game? Wait, so I did it too. I threw it too. What did I do? I threw it too late. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I forgot he wakes up. Yeah. I almost fucked that up. I don't know why I rushed it. All right. Attempt number three. What? Ah! Oh. so many things in this game i do want to go real quick and i do want to show you guys um two major mistakes i made in my level and these are mistakes that didn't uh it, first of all i i've i, I mean no level is ever going to be perfect and these are mistakes that i didn't feel was worth like re-uploading the level at the, at the point where i kind of like decided that they suck because so many people had already played it um, but these are a few major mistakes that I feel like I had in the level. The first one here is that I should have put spikes along this roof right here. Um, right up to here. Uh, this roof, uh, was probably the major choking point for everyone in this level. This section, which I thought this section was going to be really, really easy for people. But, people struggled uh with this roof um so i i i'm really like i'm bummed and 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 i could have fixed it right here by giving them spikes i thought like letting them hit the roof and then die to the munchers is gonna be like i didn't think they'd keep doing that does that make sense uh but that's exactly what every player did every player kept hitting the roof and dying to the munchers instead of trying to just do a no jump over here uh which could have been prevented if i would have just put spikes i i didn't want to put the spikes the reason i didn't put spikes originally is because they're ugly I, that's literally the reason why i chose the cloud because the cloud is very attractive and the spikes are very ugly and um I, I'm, I'm just really disappointed in how that ended up turning out like the the watching players struggle on this like really really bummed me out that was that was probably the part where i really wish i really wish i would have done something different because it's i mean it's really simple like it's it's so easy like once you know what to do you do it every time but the problem was players were trying one thing over and over again another thing i do is i would actually change this section to 
instead of hitting that pow, I'd have it do like an on off switch and then come back and then go up there. Um, but that's like, that's like just another, that's like another thing. Um, I might move this guy down one. Uh, I saw a lot of players struggle with that jump essentially. So that's something that I kind of wish I would have done. No, maybe not. Maybe not. You know what? Maybe every player just needed to get good on that. Uh, this section... Okay, so Laser Belch was struggling on this section. And he's not jumping off the Yoshi. Like, fully off the Yoshi. He's, like, spitting it and then, like, jumping out of the Yoshi right here. And so there's nothing wrong with this section. He was just doing it wrong. But here's the big thing that I would have done. And this is the biggest... The biggest thing right here is I would have put this bomb on a rail and there's really no reason for me to have had it flying in there other than it's cute and rails are ugly uh but this is where yoshi's gonna fall every time like this is what i should have done yeah i should have just put it on a rail um it it was despawning for a lot of players the players that were hugging this wall it was despawning for them and i didn't I never had that problem. I never had a despawning problem. So it was, what do I want to say? Like surprising to me that it was happening. Um, so hindsight, I really wish I would have just put this maybe like right he here actually. Put this bomb right there on rails. And I feel like it would have been a lot, a lot better. Yeah, it would have been a lot better. It's not that it was happening too often. It's that it happened at all. You know what I mean? You, I don't really want that to ever happen at all. And it, it, it's not a different jump, you know, with it floating than with it. Um, another thing I could have done is probably set up. Yeah, see, that would have worked out, actually. Another thing I could have done is probably not thrown the spring in the same spot that Yoshi is going to drop. Or at least, like have a different contraption for it but that's something that only happened too often oh the other thing i would have done i moved this one up one tile i don't know if you see this but i had it down here so i moved this guy up one to indicate that you should throw it faster um that was just a that was just a mistake on my part yeah that was just a mistake so those are the things i would have done differently and i think that the level could have been a little bit more maybe playable but people would have still struggled on it yeah i mean it's 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 hard it's a harder level than i thought it would be i think and it's also really slow i could probably also move this fire bar um like i could probably also move this down it probably doesn't need to be that that tight but, I mean, that's that's just, like, that's kind of also, like, a get good moment, you know? But pretty much everything else, I'm really happy with the way it came out, honestly. Yeah, I might have to move it over one more. Yeah, straight up and down. Okay, that'll work. Why am I changing the level? Good players beat it. I'm not. I'm just showing everyone what I would have done, what I'd want to do differently now. You know, after watching people play it. There's a few minor changes I'd like I wish I could make, but you know. People have played it. Yeah, hard levels are hard to make. So those are the changes I would have made. I think they would have really been good changes overall. There is the code NSL 6 Titty VNG. NSL 6 T Y V N G is the code. <sighs> Whoa. That was so weird. What the fuck was that? That was so weird. What? What? Oh my.
my god! Uh, two! What? Oh my god! Why is there two? What the fuck? And scene.